Well, good morning. Welcome to your Monday morning devotional from beautiful Spain. I'll see if I can get some of the views that uh, Faith and I have been enjoying while we've been down here. Um, I woke up this morning with the thoughts of, have you ever struggled with whether or not you were good enough, that your faith was strong enough, that you believed in the right thing, or is it just a fantasy? Are you useless? Do you find failure, either physically or mentally, emotionally? Um, well, I woke up thinking about these thoughts, not necessarily about myself, um, but from the, from a hymn that I, you and I know very well. Um, it came from a lady who was born in 1789, named Charlotte Elliot. She was born, possibly born with with a disability, or became disabled early on in life and living in the Victorian era, era uh, uh, in, here in England, uh, or there in England, I should say, she struggled with the usefulness of who she was as a person because of her physical disabilities. And imagine what that would feel like, um, how women still have a struggle today, how much more then. She was born into a religious family and uh, she knew of her salvation and yet she would have many nights of of thought of, of war of struggle with the thoughts of her salvation in fact uh it was when she was 45 she was going to help out with a uh, bazaar on a particular day to help raise funds for school for daughters of the clergy to receive a higher education and the night before she struggled with thoughts of being useless, with thoughts that maybe her salvation was just an emotional fantasy and that it itself was useless. Have you ever been there yourself? Have you ever wondered whether or not your faith in Jesus Christ was just uh, a wishful thinking? It was all useless because you may look at the plight of your life, the circumstances that you face. Uh, much like, for example, the prodigal son when he had squandered all of his wealth, his, his inheritance on things of this world and, and a drought came and crippled him financially to the place where he ended up on a pig farm, desolate. He found himself in a place where he couldn't even be fed by a decent human being. He came to his senses and remembered a father who was a good father, who would even feed his servants and determined that he may not be considered a son any longer, but at least if he came home, he would be classed as a servant and at least he'd receive a good meal and maybe a place to sleep for his tired body. Much like Charlotte in her circumstance of facing the ailments of her body, the, the uselessness of her physical being. She determined in her faith to rise up, not in her emotions and in her flesh of self-pity and doubt, but to rise up in the faith of her salvation and penned the hymn, Just As I Am. Wow. Just As I Am without one plea. The blood of Christ was shed for me and he bids me to come to him. And there's so many different verses in that hymn that was the outpouring of her heart of what her salvation meant to her and what it did for her. Well, I look at 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, 4 and 5. It says this, For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obedience, uh, to obey Christ. Being ready to punish every disobedience when your, disobedient, when your obedience is complete. How wonderful it is that when you have thoughts that you are not good enough, that's disobedience to the faith of Jesus Christ. So we do not destroy these arguments through our own flesh and through our own means, but we rise up in the faith of our salvation through the word of God that we take captive every thought, every thought of disobedience, every thought of fear or failure, and we subject them to the power and authority of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name.
God bless.